you have been chosen by the elite to uh, play play in a magical game. Are you in? Ma- magical game. Yeah, magical. You're, That's pretty sus, bro. That is pretty sus. But um, we're gonna talk about Squid Game, where that kind of happened. I'd say it was kind of magical. Would you? Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't really say magical, but <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, before we get into like the actual show, uh, I have a couple of questions. Number one, did you know that Squid Game is apparently Netflix's highest like, m- like, like most watched show like around the world? Apparently, yes, I didn't know that. Isn't that kind of like crazy? Because you got to think like they That's have like, nuts. Stranger Things and The Witcher and Tiger King. Even though I don't know how that got popular, but it was popular. <laughs> just just blew up kind of just blew up which is kind of crazy um and like not only that like and also when you watch shows what do you prefer because this was a binge setting like do you prefer the binger shows that you watch or do you prefer like the weekly stuff because i know you watch a lot of weekly anime um depends um if i mean yeah, like, obviously, if there's more episodes available to me, it is more likely that I will binge them because it is available right now. But I'm not, like, I'm not going to watch a show unless I'm watching with someone else to be like, okay, we're only going to watch this once a week, even though all the other episodes are out or something. If all the epi- other episodes are out, I'm, I'm going to fucking watch them. <laughs> That's fair. So, but, like, if it's, like, a weekly setting, let's just say, like, it's just coming out weekly. If it came out weekly, I feel like the cliffhangers would have had a bit more of an effect and there'd be more time to be like, yo, let's talk about it and what might happen and stuff like that. Yeah. But but in the sense of just like, oh, giant cliffhanger. Oh, geez, it's a cliffhanger. All right, we just click the next button or it just plays for us. And then, oh, this is what happens. Yeah. I don't think this show had like cliffhanger cliffhangers. Although there was, I guess, the yeah. tug of war. Yeah, that one. That one was us like, like, all right, on three, one, two, three, the the black. I was like, all right, I see how it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna talk about the actual, the actual stuff. Um, I want to start off with the music because I feel like the music and the ambiance was like just so good in the show. Yes. Um, the one, I think it's called Pink, I don't remember what it's called, but I was listening to it, like, um, it's just, like, the main one people, people play, it's, uh, it goes, the one that goes, do, 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 like, you know that one? Uh, pink, Pink Soldiers. <laughs> yes, Pink Soldiers. You got it. like, like, that's one of my favorites, like, or, like. I, it, it's like it's a mm-hmm. really good um track like when you know they're like they're coming out and they got to do like the thing mm-hmm. um and uh not only that but uh the one at the beginning when they're like explaining the game i think they call did that didn't they call that squid game like the final game yeah yeah the, the the final game of the series is called squid game yeah. or that's what the translation of it is and i really just liked or i i liked that too um i just think i think the show just does a really good job of like just having music in the background and like it just fitting where like we are compared to like some shows I'm gonna out fairy tale, because they'll just have <laughs> epic music for every for everything. We are having a mundane conversation. Epic music, no. <laughs> like 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 just like every battle. It's like here here's their friendship and our and our powers of friendship, and it's like every episode. It's like <laughs> all right, and then like. I don't remember what didn't we have this there. last time? Yes, we did, and we're gonna do it again we're because do it again. we're friends. Epic rock, yeah. 
Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, let's talk about the setting. It takes place in South Korea. Yes. Because one of the characters is from North Korea and defected over. One of the main characters. And, mm -hmm. um... How did you feel about, like, all of the places? Like, did you like the look of it? Um, what places do you mean? Like, like when they're entering the rooms. Like, in general, the show, like, outside of the games or just in the games? Well, now, right now, right now, specifically, I'm talking about in the game. Um, I think some of the, um... The sets that I had were interesting because it had like it felt like they were all kind of crafted for some purpose, either out of like just to like I think that, I think some of the rooms were interesting because they had so much creative stuff and then sometimes just of the lack of said creativeness. Like you know when they're all going up towards the the red like relight game, they went they passed through this like weird staircase with all these shapes and stuff and things. And it's like, okay, that's like, this is really confusing, really cra like really crazy and stuff. And then compare that to when they're waiting for the um, tug of war game, where it's just like a completely blank room with a few like, quote unquote, seats, I guess. But yeah, I think I thought I thought stuff was good. Yeah, um, I liked I I like the per the playground setting. I think like. Mm -hmm. it almost it's just like it's super creepy at the beginning because like you don't know like why they're like in this weird area mm -hmm. um and that's interesting and um i mean we'll talk about it because it's episode six um i really like that place because um there's just like a bunch of like homes and stuff and like it's kind of like a maze area so you could get like so, like, if you separated from your partner, like, you could easily lose them. So, it's just very interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, other than that, I, I liked that it was on an island. I thought it was yep. interesting. A private island. So, uh, let's talk about the plot. There's nine episodes. I mean, we could go episode by episode. I might forget an episode or two, but, you know, um... How do you so so I guess episode one is like the start of the squid game and also like getting to it like the exposition of like why our main character whose name I'm not going to remember. Uh, I didn't write any of them down, but we'll talk uh, our main <laughs> character. Because um, like he's broke as shit and he wants I think he wants a better life for his daughter and he, not only that but he doesn't want no no he doesn't know about losing her yet that's episode two yeah so so yeah Kihon just basically well he he wants to live a happy life with his daughter and his daughter also just also wants to like him more and stuff it's just that Kihon lives such a uh life in debt that it that such a life is pretty much out of the uh, picture yeah and um you know things aren't good with his wife and his mom's just like you know mm -hmm. not not doing so hot which you find out more about in episode two and do you meet no no you don't meet the people before entering the squid game well you meet like some of them but not really, because I know we, we meet the girl uh, beforehand, or we see her, because she took his money. Uh, yes. One, four, what was it, four million? Four million, four million won. Four million won. Wasn't that enough to pay off his debt, or no? No. No. It, it would have done a, a bit of it, but definitely not enough to uh, pay it all off. Um, and, like, he didn't get, like, a present for, like, or, well, he wanted to buy her a good present, but he ended up going to, um, what would you call those? Like a, like a gift machine? Like a... A crane like, machine? A, a crane game. Cr crane game. Yes. And, like, he ends up buying her a gun. 
a later gun. Yep. So that was kind of funny, but we enter the we we uh and then like like beforehand is I don't remember if it's bef- no no it's definitely afterwards when he's sitting there he meets this guy and he, they're throwing they're trying to like um flip over the, um, different. Duck, ducky, ducky. I don't know how the actual pronunciation. It's like D D A uh, K J I, something like that. Yeah, like that was kind of like it was kind of wild because he just kept getting slapped. Um, because he knows that the businessman will let him keep playing, and he wants that money. Yep. So, and and he's thinking to himself, oh. If all, if all it is is one slap, then, well, sure. I, I don't care. You know, and, like, people are watching and shit. I just think it's, like, a very interesting, like, thing to do. Like, that, that like, to do because it kind of shows, like, what the rich can do to the poor when, like, if, like, they're given an incentive, almost. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Like you're a slave to cash and whatnot. And then we enter the Squid Games, where we meet, where you, where our main character is number 456, the last person to enter it. Whereas, and he speaks to number one, who is an old man. Yes. Uh, I don't remember the word they use for um, your gir. It starts with a G. They end up becoming, like, something. I just don't remember what it is. But it's, like, very important. Oh. Um, well, like, that's, like, uh, episode six. Uh, Ganbu, gan something like that. Gan-bu. It's Ganbu. Ganbu? I don't know. Uh, it basically, it's a, the word to be basically, like, be best buddies, in a sense. A trusted friend. Yeah. Uh, but anyways. And then we also see... <laughs> Uh, we also uh, see the person that took his money, who who's now there. Yep. Uh, the pickpocket. The pick uh, calls her pickpocket. Uh, a person who's or after. Or Yes, the person who's after her, which is a. Uh, I don't know what it's called there. Do they just say yakuza there, or is it just moth, or is it like mafia, or mob mob person? I don't know. Uh, the, the guy just, um, at least in the English translation on Netflix, called him a thug. Yeah, they called him a thug. That's it. Yeah. And uh, we also... We also... And then... I think it's then we enter it. And then we meet our other two main characters. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's our other two main characters. Because we don't meet the other char- the other character that's kind of a main character until... The next one, I believe. Yes, Gihan notices that Songwoo is also there, and he's like, "Yo, yes. Songwoo, what, what are you here for?" Later, we find out why, because we'll get to that in episode two. Your mom told me that you were on a trip. <laughs> Going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. And, oh God. Yup, and then during uh, the Squid Game, or during the first game which is um red light green light where you have a creepy ass doll look if, if she looks at you and you're moving you get shot you die eliminated eliminated for realsies people freak out and they start moving back and like one of them dies on top of like on top of our main character like that's kind of wild And, um, he ends up moving and, like, tripping over, and he's caught by our next main character, who is Pakistani? I don't yep, know. Pakistani. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's how he, is it Paki, Pakistani? I think it's Pakistani. And, like, he, I think, moved to South Korea and, like, works there. Mm-hmm. Um, and he had, like, tremendous strength. He, he held up our main character which was Pog, 
And uh, they every, all of our main characters make it through uh, Squid Game. Or, not Squid Game. Make it through the first round. <laughs> and then afterwards, they decide to vote off. Um, or they decide to vote whether or not they should stay. But they see what the prize money is now. And uh, they're determined to... Um, I guess, first of all, how do you feel about um, Red Light, Green Light? How did you feel about that? Um, I thought it was a very, uh, I thought it was a very good intro thing, just to kind of show some of the brutalness of, just like, oh yeah, there's 457 of them, ha ha, psych. Not anymore. Yup, it's kind of wild. Um, and yeah, we enter. Um, yeah, so then, yeah, I, I completely agree, is what I, is what I meant to say before I moved on. I completely <laughs> agree with that. I think it's really good. And, um, they end up going and voting there, um, and they end up voting to leave. Like, it's, I think it's like 100 to 101, because there's like 201 players left. Um, which I think is a good, like, basic number for like 100 and then one above that. Um, mm -hmm. if you were at, if you were in the squid game, what would you have voted and why? Um, that would depend on what kind of debt I was in. Let's just say at you're the in time. As, as just as much debt as like any of them, like high amounts. Um, high amounts of debt. Yeah. Let's see. I think I would probably prioritize my own life over, uh, see, so it, 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 it really depends on what kind of debt, because if I would, if I would be, if I would pretty much quote unquote, die outside of the games, then I would also, I would think, oh, I have nothing to lose if I die within the games either, because I would die either way. But if I was... But if I know that I would not die from my debt of some kind in, t in the terms of like a, like, if that makes sense, yeah. like being like, like being in debt and then jailed because of that versus being in debt and being murdered in a back alley are two different things. Yeah. Um, I, I, I agree. I think. I, I agree. I might lean towards staying because, like, it's a ch it, like, like I would have seen all these children games and have just been like, oh, maybe I could actually win the money, but I don't particularly know. I mean, knowing what I do with the uh, with the second to last game, <laughs> probably wouldn't have uh, because that looks like because you could jump. And then, like, not jump farther enough and still die. I don't know how to put it. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I'm also afraid of heights, so the glass thing would have really have not been good for me. But we get to episode, I think that was episode, during episode two, but episode two is known as hell. Or at least that's what the translation was. And it basically yes. shows you all of the lives of the different people. Um, oh, oh, I forgot to mention we meet our other main character, who is... I don't remember her name, but she basically... Um, we'll see in episode three that she bangs the, the, the thug. Yeah, I don't remember her name. Yeah, but she's kind of important. So, um, there's that. But... Also, um, everybody, but, but we don't see her during this, but everybody else, but we see everybody else and everybody goes back to their lives. Um, uh, let's start off with the one I, the one I'm more interested in, which is, um, the Pakistani guy just kills his, his boss cause he wanted the money <laughs> that, that was owed to him, which is like kind of nuts. Like how would you... Mm -hmm. Would in in his scenario, would you have done that? Just killed him. 
killed him for the um, money. Yeah, would you have killed him for the money? Like, you're probably in as much debt as him in this scenario, would you? Um, not sure if I would be able... To, I mean, I wouldn't know unless uh, I was put in said situation, but I'm not sure if I would be able to muster up the courage to uh, take another person's life for money. But he is trying to support his family and things and stuff like that. Yeah. Um... Then, hmm, who, who do we go off of? We see the girl, the pickpocket, uh, she ends up, um, she has a little brother that she's trying to support, and they're also trying to get their mom over to, uh, South Korea, South Korea, because she was deported, f she was deported back because of China? I do not remember entirely. Yeah, but... That was kind of sad. Um, uh, how do you feel about that one? Um, yeah, it, it just sucks that the, like, just everything within that just kind of sucked in that she was just trying to get the money to um, save her family and stuff, but ended up just losing all of it because the guy who said, oh, yeah, I'll do it, well, it was just... Corrupt, and that is like, oh, just took the money and disappeared. Yep. Uh, we see the ex uh, or, or the thug is actually just a small fry um, mm -hmm. who kind of like acts like a big shot, so his kind of reasoning is there. And then no, there's not really too much to say unless you got something on, on it. No. Um, and then we go to our main character who, who comes back and his mom was in the hospital, which, uh, kind of sucks. And, um, and then he tries to, like, get money for, for that by going to his ex-wife who denies it. And then her, her now husband gives him the money and um and says just leave us alone and um yeah how do you feel about that yeah just it's all it's all a result of his uh the just all the ongoing problems that have been happening with Kihon and just like that, it just is accumulating that the problems that his ex-wife and, and family have been just like, he's just been kind of a thorn in the side of them. Just being like, they just want like, so like they both mean for the the good of the family, but, and, and obviously since we see Gihon's, Gihon's play, it's just that it's just like, uh, Hey, you're, you're kind of a really bad example. Yeah. Like, I don't... There are definitely worse fathers, because he's not, like, neglecting, nor did it seem like he abused his daughter. It just seemed like he was just broke and, like, more of a bad example, as you said. Yeah. So you start to feel bad. Like, so, I mean, I felt bad for him, like, when he was, you know, going through... Like, that. yeah. You see his wants. It's just that he doesn't have the capacity to take care of the child... Yeah. Than than the other uh, than his ex wife. Yep. And he decides not to take that money. Um, which I think is a good showing of character, cause like to him it it shows you that to him it's not all about the money. Mm -hmm. But he wants that. But but even though it pains him because he still wants that money to support his um. To support his mom and his kid and, you know, that type of thing. Mm-hmm. So that's why he... I think that's why he ends up deciding to go back, which we'll get to. But we end up meeting with the mom of... What's... Of, um... His friend, Song, Song Woo, right? Yep. And uh, she, she talks about, like, him and whatnot. And we kind of find out 
he's in a shit ton of debt because of, like, stocks and, like, it going bad and, like, a bunch of other shit that happened. Mm Mm-hmm. Because I guess he just made, like, the wrong choices. Um, which is kind of nutty in on itself. Um, how do you, like, like, um, I feel like, I feel like there, there could be, like, I feel like we just don't hear a lot about those stories of, like, rich people just going broke because of that stuff, or, like, 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 the high-risk part of, like, high-risk, high-reward. You always hear about the heartwarming stories where they did get the reward. Mm-hmm. And that type of thing. And they're gonna now end up confiscating her, his mom's, like, um, uh, market place area thing. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of sad. And, um, she ends up giving, um... Our main character, some money, and he ends up going to the store and uh, meets up with the old man, his gen- his Ganbu. Well, the, anyways. <laughs> yeah. And uh, they share some stuff, and, like, he... I feel like they kind of convince each other to go back, in a sense, or, like, if they're, like... like yeah. Like, like, uh, if that's what, like, you really need to do, and then they go back, and, uh, and then, um, they find each other, and they start the second, the second game, uh, in episode three, which is the cookie cutter. Well, I'm gonna call it the yeah. cookie cutter. So, yeah, just, just one thing I, I thought was really, just really just interesting in that, like, just how many people came back. Oh yeah. Like so like e- so even though they decided to stop the games and stuff, they all st- most of them came back. Yep, 14 of them uh, cuz it cuz it was 187 afterwards decided to come back. Like like only 14 <coughs> decided to stay. And I think it's very interesting. Um cuz like Cause like I feel like the whole second episode is to show you why they're in hell or like why, mm-hmm. um, why it's like hell or or like why why, why are they so desperate to get the money? Yeah, and um, and that um, so then we get to the second game, which is like a cookie cutter thing. Um, they all um, we now have like a squad of four for now, which is um, the old man, our main character, uh, the main character's uh, friend, and the Pakistani guy, and they all decide to go into the four separate things. One was a triangle, one was a circle, one was a star, and the other one was an umbrella. Um. Uh, they all decide to do that because of Song Wu's um, decision suggestion. to do that. Yeah. Suggestion. Um, I think they decided. Um, first of all, well, they decided to do it because it adds a bit more suspense. Um, but I think one of the reasons, like character-wise, you would decide to do something like that is because. It shows that Song Song Wu still can't make right decisions. Like like even after all of his debt. Mm-hmm. Uh, which I think is um very interesting. Or at least that's how I that that's my take on it. I I think part of my take on it was that like, oh let's um uh, I think it's partly that and also partly that he, um He's he's also just trying to still like see who is kind of strong in a sense of of things. Yeah. Because I mean, Yi Hong just kind of he he barely survived the first game, and as while well, he is his friend and stuff, like he doesn't know how much he can trust Gi Hong. Yep. In a sense. So uh, so the, the oh let's all split up, kind of thing is also like kind of a cover for not only just in the game, but also just, Hey, I know I'm competing against all these other people too. And I need to know who is 
strong and who isn't. If and if they lose the game, then that's kind of one less person that I have to worry about. Yeah. Um, and so it ends up being the cookie cutter thing. Um, two of them pass pretty much with flying colors since it's circle and, and triangle. Um, so Songwoo and our Pakistani, uh, friend survive, uh, because of that. And throughout the episode, uh, because our main character, uh, G- can you just repeat his name? Cause I'm going to try to remember. Gi Hong. Gi Hong deci- uh, gets, um, gets the umbrella, uh, which is what I think the cookies are normally in the shape of. Um, and, uh, he ends up, like, having a hard time and getting through some of it, but they only have, like, a couple, like, like, a minute or so left, and he does a really smart thing and just decides to lick it. And, uh, everybody sees that, and, uh, uh, it, uh, it helps, like, everyone, or, main, uh, like, every main character that didn't make it survive, um, which is, which is good, um, um, I thought it was a very effective strategy. Yep. Uh, which was cool. Looks and- at the light, looks at stuff, look from the back, less layers between what you need. So it works out. Yeah. And uh, he comes back and they do everything. And um, and uh, there seems to be like a sow of dissension or, or like or there seems to be like everybody's on guard. And so the people in charge decide to, um, I guess, turn off the lights or, or like, or make it like a bit more, all right, like, 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 um, we're we're not going to watch over the room for the time. So everybody kind of has to like gang up together or, or like whatever. So that way they can protect themselves Mm -hmm. from other players. Because, um, the group of, like, uh, the, th- the thugs group, who ha- he has a group now, along with a, with a rogue doctor, or, or, like, a doctor that's, like, kind of, like, they're, that, like, some of the players are helping for parts in exchange for... The players are not helping him. Not, not the players, the, the, the pink soldiers the are, so, uh... are helping him, like, 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 telling him what the next thing is. Yes, because they because organ uh, organs are very nice for price uh, for money. Yep. And 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 uh, what fresh uh, bodies can you take organs from? The people that just died in the games, easy. Pretty much, and um, and so like he's a part of the thugs group, and uh, pickpocket will now end up joining. Uh, our, like, like the main group, and, uh, I don't remember her name, but she has a name. Saibyuk, something like that. Sai, yeah, I think it's, like, Saibyuk. And, um, you know, they're, like, 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 that, like, like, crazy things are happening, people are dying, people are protecting themselves, and, uh, that stopped when the main, or, or the old man, number one, comes on top of a bed and just starts yelling. To, to stop. And they stop. He's scared. He's scared. I think this is our first instance of like of like the big twist at the end. Um I'd say second biggest uh what instance. Was the first? I um it. so so basically when um when the camera and the red light green light game was turned around and started uh scanning everything uh, basically, um, if you kind of looked closely, everyone had a green here on them, but kind of there was not really any here around um, Ilnam. Mm. So perhaps that might have been a slight fail safe just in case uh, Ilnam did make a mistake. Yeah, that that makes sense. Um... So, but yes. yeah, after that, that was episode four, I believe. Because episode five was Tug of War. 
Yep, episode five is tug of war. So then we get to tug of war, and um, pretty much they're trying to recruit just males, or at least some of them are. So, well, yeah. Um, so I mean, there's the whole thing about like just everyone's taking guards and stuff. I mean, everyone's on edge after that whole debacle when yeah. they started fighting. Yeah, and the thug man of does succeed at that. Um, however, uh, our main group doesn't. They end up acquiring one female who will end up being grouped with, um, uh, brought in by Saibiuk, and also they're, they're missing another person. Or they're missing, um, one, um, one player, and, uh, I don't remember her name, but the other main female uh, ends up joining them because she's dumped by the thug mm -hmm. uh, in this game. And so um, they end up playing tug of war and uh, uh, thug man survives uh, neatly and um, they're about to lose our main our main cast and uh, they decide to go forward, grab it and then go back. Or, or, like, not give any credence and then go back and they win through Song Song Wu's uh, decision. Um, and so I would probably say this is probably the moment where he started thinking a bit more effectively. But that's just me, but I don't really know. I don't know how to put it. Mm -hmm. like um he starts to think more about survival in this realm in particular yes um and so they survive although i don't know how you would have fail safed it for the old man or for ilmam um that is true uh, then again, all the games are kind of catered to stuff that he knows, That's true, more or less. Yeah. So, he, like, it, like he had the entire strategy of their opening act of just basically, all right, this is what we're going to do in the beginning. This is, the, and then we'll wait for the chance, and then, and then after that, it just kind of played out, and yeah. probably they're just going to hope that okay, that hope that that just works by itself. Yeah. So then we get to episode six, which I think is one of the best. Ep it is probably my favorite episode. Um, although I do like episodes eight and nine, or well, I like mm -hmm. the, the later half episodes a lot. I think episode six might be one of my favorites, just because I feel like we start to see a lot of like character, like growth and development. And also the big thing that happens at the end, which is, <laughs> um, but, uh, this is the marble game, um, where like you have 10 marbles and another person has 10 marbles and like you have to partner up with someone. Welcome. And so there were 37 people left. Something like that. And so and so there was going to be an odd number. And uh, people are partnering off um, Song Wu, and I believe his name was Ali, but I could be wrong. Yes, his name is Ali. And uh, they partner up. Uh, the two females that uh, are, are uh, Sabiuk and the other female were also brought together. And... Uh, partnered off together, and um, uh, our main character partners up with Ilnam, and uh, he decides to do this because um, he didn't want him to like die in that room, and so the only person left is the other female main character because she's annoying as shit. <laughs> And I and I was so excited for her to just like be casted off and die because she's that annoying. <laughs> uh, so 
Um, they end up going into that room. Um, also, he was going to end up being... I, I do find it interesting that Ilnam was going to end up being alone. Mm-hmm. And, like, he pro... And we'll, 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 we'll get to that. But he was going to end up being alone. Uh, or he chose to, like, seclude himself. Which I thought was interesting. So... And then we get to that game, and uh, a few people decide to do different things. Fugman and the other person, I think, decide to do odds and evens first, like everyone else. Um, and uh, Fugman's on the losing side because, ha ha ha, he's dumb. And so they end up doing, like, another game, and he throws it in a hole and gets, like, all of his, like, other person's thing. Um, oh. Oh, we forgot to mention... There were 38 people before that. Because we forgot to mention this. No, it was 40, and then it ended up being 39. Because it was teams of 10 for for tug of war, but the doctor person ends up being caught yeah. and he's dead. Like, mm -hmm. like he's hung. And and I think it's the front man, who I don't... I, I'm waiting to speak about until episode 8. We're gonna... Because it's a, it's a side thing um, mm -hmm. that I thought would be just better to talk about, like, in its own episode, or in the episode 8. Um, but he ends up saying, like, yeah, uh, we're all supposed to be equals here. Um, so, or, 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 it's supposed to be, like, more equal. So they end up doing, or, so he ends up dying, so now there's 39, which is why it's odd. Uh, which I thought was, uh, good. In that regard. Um, anyways, marbles. Um, uh, Sabiuk and uh, the other chick just decided to talk about life. Like, what they were going to do. Um, mm -hmm. The other chick talks about how she killed her dad because her dad killed her mom. And uh, she talks about, like, her life and, like, what she wants to do. Uh, Sabiuk talks about, like, her life and like what she's going to do afterwards. And, um, and the other chick is just like, okay, I'm just going to give you my marbles because, or, or, or like she decides to throw the game that they, de they, they decide to play mm -hmm. because she says, you, you have an idea of what you want to do. I'm going to let you go farther. So she dies. Um, and then we get to um, Ali and uh, Song Wu. And um, Ali wins. He wins all of the marbles. Mm -hmm. But Song Wu shuts him up. Or Sh Song Wu like, kind of keeps him quiet and says, haven't you thought that, like, they, they said to, to just, like, um, you're going to have marbles and just to play a game. They never said they were going to kill both of us if we all had, if we both had marbles. So, why don't we scope out the competition and, like, I have a marble and then you have all of these marbles. And so Ali agrees because they're friends. Like, why mm -hmm. wouldn't you trust your friend in, in, a, in, a, in a death game? You know? Yes. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that, that ends up being bad because he ends up being caught. It, it ends up being Pebbles. And uh, he tricks him. And uh, this is the first time we see Song Wu. You know. Um, he starts slowly descending into the dark side. Uh, at least I think during this, this thought was... His thought is survive and get that money no matter what. Yeah. Whereas um, everybody was looking out for each other. Um, in the group, he's kind of been slowly looking for uh, towards himself, but he ends up getting him killed. You know. Like, just because. And... <laughs> yes. Um, I guess out of the three scenarios that we've talked about, like, how do you feel about them? Um, well, 
Yeah, I think uh, Ali was so. It, it was just it was just sad to see like just all these stuff and just that how trusting he was with his friend. Knowing that, like in this game, it's like you gotta pretty much only think about yourself. I mean, it is it is beneficial to think about others because you it'll increase your chances of survival along with theirs. But in the end, um, having less competition would be better because you are also still fighting for the money. Yeah. Um. Anything about the other two? The the two the two chicks and uh, Thugman. That was sad. Also, too, yeah. um, Thugman ones was I thought was um, just kind of interesting in that how like just how they managed to switch games and then just oh, all right, look, see, look at I won. Yeah. Um. Then we get to Ilnam and our main character, and Where the old man just decides to ignore it. Which makes me think that Song Wu's thing was right. That I don't I don't think they were gonna kill someone if um if you just had marbles at the end. Um but that's just me. Um but the old man acts goes insane, essentially. Like, um he acts as if like we didn't mention this, but he has a tumor in his head. And he's not really being taken care of. And, um, it's just really sad, because, like, he's just trying to look for his house, and, like, he thinks he's in his neighborhood. Well, he says it looks like his neighborhood. Yeah. And he, re- and he recognizes as one of the houses to be, um, one that he lived in. And they end up playing the game, and he's about to take, um, our main character's last one, because he's winning at, like, uh... I guess guessing the number or evens or odds or whatever. And um he ends up being coy about it and just being like, "Oh, did what 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 did I say evens or odds?" And you know, he lies. And when they enter the house, he talks about, "You lied to me." And which I thought was very interesting or well, he's essentially saying that like to save yourself and he's like, like, he's, like, he feels awful about it, our main character, and he says, and then uh, Ilnam says, yeah, this is yours, and he accepts his fate, and he, he dies. So, how do you feel about mm-hmm. that situation? Just everything with Ilnam and our main character. Um, it, w- it was pretty tough. But um, after after seeing uh, the end of stuff, I was like, ah, I see, I see how. Yeah. Things go. I think it just makes for such a good twist. Just all of it that happened, mm-hmm. especially like what happens here, and it, and like just I feel like there was just such an impact because like the other like, like like you see that like. Everybody kind of, like, like, who has a heart and who doesn't in this. And we see that, obviously, the thug doesn't. And our main character and Sabiuk do. Because they felt super bad about the other person dying. Whereas Song Wu doesn't even have bad, bad, bad an eye to it. He's just like, I need to survive. And, um... I think it does a really good job of setting up, like, your next, like, antagonist after the thug. Because the thug can only go so far. Um, because the next game is the glass. Mm-mm. Bro, I, I'm going to be honest. I think the glass one is the scariest one to me. Oh, yeah. D- definitely. I think so, too. Because Tug of War, you have people, and if you partner with the right people, you're fine. No, this this one is just straight up, uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, you're in front. Go. Nope. Very scary. And, um... Because you can pick your numbers. 
and um, you know, like like the thug, um, and um, oh oh, we forgot to mention this: the person that wasn't picked, uh, the person that wasn't picked, the annoying lady. She's just in the room. Yep. Which again, I think is just very telling of what the old man was doing or what Ilnam was doing. Mm-hmm. Um but, you know, she's there and she picks um she also picks a middle number along with the thug. Um Sabiuk, um Song Wu, they pick later numbers. They're 14 and 15 and um, our main character is gonna go for one, but he's talked out of it, because he decides to let somebody else be one after they say, I'm done being a pussy. I'm gonna go <laughs> first, whatever this is. And so, um, our main character is six, or is number 16, which is a very big benefit, because number one has to go first on these, on, on the... On the glass. I think it, like... To me, what would you have picked first? Or what would you have picked, like, between those two? Would, would you have rather have been in... Like, 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 I guess, like, would you have rather been first or last? Or in the middle? Like, if you were in their shoes. That was in their shoes? Um... I might have gone to somewhere towards the middle last around that area because um, it hopefully I'd be able to see more information first and then do it. But I'd rather not be at either end yeah. because you don't re really know. I agree. I think like middle last, like maybe where uh, Song Wu was or where the Glass Man was. Um. So everybody's going through. Uh, it turns out that um, the man that, that went first just dies. And um, you have to remember the pattern for it. It's just, like, kind of crazy. I guess it's, like, their way of doing death hopscotch. Um, kind of wild. Um, to me... Um, so there was a death, or, like... Or this is where, like, the, I guess, like, the second biggest deaths are, where, uh, Thugman is held on by, um, by the annoying woman, and, uh, she makes them jump. Or she goes back. And she just, she just decides, I don't want to win, I just want you to lose. Which I think is just so clean, because she's so defeated. After, like, everything. Because she, she wasn't, like, picked. And, like, um... And she was, like, dumped after, like, fucking him. You know. Uh, I think it's just, like, a good ending for the both of them. Great death. Uh, how do you feel about it? Um. Let's see. So I can you repeat that one more time? I was typing something out. <laughs> yeah. Thug man and annoying woman go oh, yes. through the glass. Um, How do you feel? Because I thought it was a very, very fitting death. I think so. I think so too. Yeah. Um. Let's see. He he was trying to stall for it, and she was just like not having it. You know, just thought it was good. Um. And once our antagonist is gone, we need a new one. So, uh, we now, we, we have our last few people, and, um, and, um, because he was going to run out the timer, so, mm -hmm. and just have them all die, because he didn't care, but, you know, but he, um, but Song Wu pushes Glass Man because Glass Man can see the like, like which one's tempered and not. So um, the VIPs who we're gonna get to um, once we get to episode eight because I want to mm -hmm. um, you know kind of focus it more on that once we get to the get to it. Yeah. Um. 
they decide to be like, no, this isn't that much fun. So they shut off the lights on the last panel. And he can't decide, so Sangwoo just pushes him through. And goes and goes behind, because they only had a few seconds left. So he thought about his survival, he pushes him, Brandon left the chat, he goes through, and, uh, yeah. Oh, he's offline. I, I'm, I'm assuming Discord disconnected. Uh, but I'll, but I'll talk about this part. Um, I think it's very, it's very, like... I think what was good is that you showed why he became the antagonist after uh, stuff. Yo. Okay. Okay. So, so I was just talking about how um, because we needed a new antagonist. Because he pushed. Yes, we needed an antagonist. So Song Wu fills that, and then because of his. Uh... Yep. Action of doing the thing. Yep. Yeah. And I think what was really good about it is you showed in in like previous episodes why he he's doing this or like you know he's probably in the most dead out of all of them. He um he's he's really only been looking f for his own survival compared to everyone else who's kind of been more in a group. And episode six kind of shows that. Because he's just, like, ready to dump someone who became a good friend of his. Or someone who who thought they were good friends <laughs> with him. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. So, I think that was good. Uh, how do you feel about it? Yeah, I like... I, re I really like, like, like throughout the stuff like just seeing just how Sangwoo just is just more and more less like calculating in things of of just how he wants to win the prize and just just like yep uh I'll do what it takes for me to uh, win. Yep. And you see that through the silence of dinner where like Sabiyuk is like, you know, kind of uh, and this is episode eight now. Like, like Sabi Yuk is kind of just silent because she's silent, but also one of the glass just ends up like cutting her. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other two are just eating heavily. Um. And. Um. Not only that, but like. Our main character wants wants like Sabiok. They want to help. She, they're they're just like okay. We need to help each other through the final game, and like she agrees, and she says if something goes wrong, you know, promise me that like you'll look after my brother. And she he says fine, and he says promise you'll look after my mom and daughter. And she says fine, if that if that's the case. But she knows she's dying, and uh, our main character goes to go get help. And they don't open at first. And then they do open with a casket. Which they had in episode 3. And that's because Song Wu killed her. Mm -hmm. Straight up. And our main character just... He's not having it. He, he wants to kill him. But they're just like, no, we need a show. Like, this last thing needs to be a show. So we're gonna keep them separated and whatnot. And they, they decide now... Now it's time for 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 Squid Game, which we're gonna get to. But episode, <laughs> but throughout the episodes, we have another underlying thing, which is the outside of it, which is the pink soldiers, our front man, and the VIPs. And the reason this is explored is because we have an infiltrator. Uh, I don't remember his name, but he he infiltrates uh, as a pink soldier, and. Um, mm -hmm. And he becomes number 29. Um, and um, he... Uh, number 29 helped the Doc, who... Um, and, like, when they ended up getting caught and whatnot, um, he ends up just killing... He ends up just killing them and, like, asking, like, what's going on, and he's looking for his brother who entered the mm -hmm. games. 
Um, blah, blah, blah. Um, he ends up doing that stuff, and he ends up, like, uh, finding out that his brother won. Like, what was it? Like, in 2015. Um, yeah, something like that. This The games take place in 2020, and when we cut to, like, the pre- or, like, when it cuts to a year later, it's 2021. But when the games are, like... Like, they're doing the games and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, like, like, he won, and, like, um, the front man ends up, like, catching him in this room. And so he has to, like, avoid that. Uh, then they go to the VIPs. And uh, the VIPs, were they all American? Or, like, were they no. all, like, European or, like... I mean, they are all speaking English and shit, but... Yeah. Um... And, like, one of them uh, had a thing for uh, our lovely undercover detective. And uh, they decide to go to a room. And uh, before he uh, sucks... But before he makes him suck his dick... He, uh, <laughs> he ends up turning the tables and, uh, says, yeah, this is, this is what you're going to do for me. And, uh, he ends up, I, does he end up killing him or just making him faint? So, I mean, Fretman does shoot him around the shoulder area. Yeah. He falls into the water. And, uh... No, 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 I, no, I was talking oh, about... wait, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, we're um, not there yet. I was talking about what's-his-name. I was talking about the, 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 the American guy. Or the, the English guy. Oh, um... I don't remember, I'm sorry. My, my brain's in two places. I'm trying to... Yeah, I get ...message that. people. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fair. Um, but then we end up getting to the end of that. Which is, like, he ends up telling his boss everything, and he ends up being caught by the front man. And the front man says to bring him alive. Mm-hmm. And the front man, dun-dun-dun twist, is his brother. Whoa! And his brother ends up shooting him! Whoa! Mm hmm. How do you feel about that? Um. I mean, little bro is trying trying to release uh, the truth to the public, and that's a big no no. No. Yep. Gotta stop him somehow. So he shoots him in the elbow. Do you think there's a chance he lived? It was not the. It was more like the shoulder. For the shoulder. Do you think if there was a chance he lived? Chance he lives? Probably. If you don't see a body. <laughs> yeah. Shows kind of kind of make you believe because we've seen a body with every single other death. So. You know he walks off and he feels terrible about this. Mm -hmm. Um. But overall, how first of all, how do you feel about the um our undercover friend? How do you feel about his story? Um I thought it was alright. Alright. Me too. Like like it it was neat to kind of like just have this other stuff, all the things going on. Um, I was looking at um, like just kind of like YouTube clips from like stuff where they had like director and stuff, and the director said like I was like oh yeah I had this idea of all the like the children games stuff, but then when I realized it wasn't gonna be a movie but we could actually have like, a series I needed something else to put in the time so that's when we created this I was like ah I see. <laughs> mm, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I think it like gives like because we're we're probably gonna get a season two. Doing this kind of, like, makes a well, complete sense. And, like, maybe it will be more expanded upon, like, you know, in in Season 2 or whatever the next thing is. Um, 
Because if it is Netflix's best-selling thing, obviously we're going to get something else. Um, and then how do you feel about the VIPs? Um, I, I think they make it kind of just a, a neat kind of like, like they are the ones kind of orchestrating stuff, but we're not necessarily like, like, like with, with the, with at least with the most of the main crew, it's just like, uh, yes, like obviously they don't know anything about that, but just like, just seeing just like, oh yes, these are the people that are organizing stuff. Yeah. It's like at least we have something to to show besides just the name of the oh yes, the other VPs. Like we actually have an a, a bit of an idea of who they are slash and one of them that's on sixty nine and ninety six during the pan um during the glass stuff and they lose. So Oh Oh yeah, there was a guy and his wife that also entered and uh mm-hmm. During the marbles thing, the wife died because um, she, I guess she ended up losing. How do you yes. feel about that? Sad. It's very sad. Because everyone went into that game thinking, oh, we're going to go with someone that we kind of trust. Because, you know, you'd rather be with someone that you trust in these games. And they were like, ha ha, go take the marbles from another player. You have 10 marbles? You have a, 10 marbles? All right. When you get when you get another ten marbles, go give it to uh, a guard. All right. Good luck. Yep. Um. Yeah. Uh. Not only that. Um. Yeah. So then we get to episode nine, the squid game, where where we have our squid game. Um. It seems as if Song Wu ended up being too. I don't know how to put it. Like, like, I think, like, something... Something was off about him, and, like, something was, like... It, it was just, like, I think he had... He was on, like, one of his worst... Like, like a worse day than um, our main character. Because, like, our main character ended up, like, acting... Like, like at least at the beginning. Mm-hmm. He was, like, acting very like um cocky and like he ended up mm-hmm. getting the upper hand and then we end up having like a fight between the two of them just like trying to like kill the uh, like like beat the other and um after pain and punishment our main character ends up standing tall and he says he wants to end the game yep and song wu was just like nope and kills himself. I don't remember mm-hmm. exactly why. Was it because he wanted his friend to get the money? Because he knew he lost? Um. Let's see. I'm not sure. I don't remember exact. I think it's because he knew he was going to die. So he was just like. Yeah. Eh. It's like. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what the uh, reasoning behind was, but and after, something of that sort. And after that, our main character is defeated. He he saw his friends die in front of him. Yep. Including his Gonbu. Anyways, we well, get to... He, uh, he didn't die in front of him. He was walking away when he heard the gunshot. That's true. Because he couldn't see his Gonbu die. And then we get to we get to a year later. And he hasn't used any of the money. I mean, I guess I'm assuming he took out what he owed. But that was like a small fraction of what he ended up getting. He got like what, like 45.6 billion won? Something along the lines of that. That's it's that's insane. That is an insane amount of money. If you won that amount of money, what would you what would you do with that money? Um, I would not know. <laughs> what's the okay? What, what's the first? What thing could what could I do? Put it in a secure place, 
and then try and help out immediate uh, family debts. Mm. That's fair. I um, I mean, I think I, I don't know if I've mentioned this on camera, but I'm sure I've mentioned this to you. So if I had a bunch of money, what I would do is every single day I'd buy a new cat. And I and my dad feeds our cats. So mm -hmm. he would have to feed he would have to start realizing we're gonna have more cats. So I would just fuck with him because it's funny. <laughs> Not only that, but I've specific but I've told everybody in our house. So this would be my way of telling them without telling them we won the lot I, I, I got a bunch of money. Or, or I won the squid game, or I won the lottery, or whatever. Without explicitly uh -huh. saying, I won the lottery. So, just because it's funnier that way. <laughs> Other than that, he, yeah, he gets like a gold card and whatnot, and he's like defeated. And he's given a card. From like, because he's sitting at a lake, and he, he buys a rose, and he's like, whatever. And he gets a card to meet him on Christmas Eve. To, to meet somebody on Christmas Eve at 8 p.m.? I don't remember. I don't remember. And it's signed by his gonbu. His go, gon, gonbu, whatever. Mm -hmm. And he walks in. And he sees him. I am not dead yet. I'm not dead yet, because the tumor was real. But he was the one that made the Squid Game because um, he says that somebody who's very poor and somebody who's very rich has a, has the same problem, boredom. What do you do? Like, like everything, because when you're poor, you know, you're trying to like, you know, come up with ways to like get money and whatnot. But when you're rich, everything doesn't excite you anymore. Mm -hmm. So... He decided, to, they decided, he came up with his butt, he, he, him and his buddies made the Squid Game. He might have been the main proprietor. But yeah, do you think he entered the Squid Game? Because we don't know. Do you think he entered the Squid Game every year? Or do you think that it was just this year because it was his last? Or he knew it was his last? Every year? No. Don't think so. Mm -hmm. Um... This one, probably. Yeah. Just because he just wanted to. I mean, uh, unless there... Uh, I forget when um, the police guy was looking through the files if there were other ones where... Um, we never or saw... Or like a number is missing. We never really saw like who won was visibly. But... But as in like uh, the, the, the number... Like uh, as in like, oh, the number one was... Missing because that would belong to Ilnam. Yeah. So that to speak, but yeah. Um, and yeah, like, it makes sense with everything. Like, he he had a bunch of fail-safes. I guess other than Tug of War, I guess he had Faith or some. I don't know how he would have done that. I guess he was just, like, ready for Tug of War. But, um, you know, the first game, like you mentioned, like, he ended up, like, ha not having, like, um something or um maybe they wanted to shot him for um uh the second one the third one when he said stop they stopped um fourth one was tug of war the fourth thing was tug of war fifth thing um was the marbles and he like had a fail save for that I guarantee you he would have went last for, um, or he would have picked last, like, immediately. If he even was, yes. Yeah. If, if he was there, but, like, he, he decided he was gonna sit alone, or he wasn't gonna, like, do anything, and we found out that the chick lived. Mm-hmm. Um, because she wasn't picked. And, um, Marbles, he gave, he was gonna give his Ganbu, the main character, one. 
uh, or he or he left him with one, or he, he was allowing him to go back and forth. Maybe just to see what kind of person he was, but he felt, like, awful, and he knew he felt awful, and blah, blah, blah. And he was happy that he, his friend, like, like, or the person he met, got the money. Um, and he asked, like, why, why was I allowed to live? And I don't remember his response. But I don't think it was because he won. I think it was, like, something else. Like, like he said something else. Um... Not only that, but they had a side bet where um, uh, our main character bet all the money and uh, Ilanam bet his life that, that, the, that the person on the side of the road wasn't going to he get help. And at the, la at the 11th hour, the last minute, that guy gets help. And mm -hmm. um, he doesn't get to take his life, but he did get to... Um, you know, but he did die. And I think it, like, like, and I think that moment was to distill faith in humanity back to our main character. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you feel about all of that? Just the twist and everything. Um, I thought the twist was really, like, just interesting of just, like, because, you know, for mo a lot of the other deaths that were relevant, at least, like there is at least some show of yeah they're dead, <laughs> yeah, or of of some kind, and or at least they had a convenient cutaway, and this was just kind of something similar. I was like, you know what? All right, uh, I'm kind of sus, but what, what are you gonna do? And then when it, and when he came around and he got the letter, I was like, ha ha. Um, but that whole but the whole thing of just like oh yeah, uh. Let's make a bet, and if that guy gets helped, and just... I, I, thought, it was, I thought it was cool. Yeah. Uh, he ends up getting Faith. He dyes his hair red. He's going to go to America, because that's where his daughter is now, because um, it's explained that um, they're moving to America because of the stepdad's job, and uh, his mom didn't want to uh, do that, but... Also, a reason he loses faith in humanity is he, his mom dies. I forgot to yes. mention that. His mom dies. That's the first thing that happens. Because before, he was, like, kind of just, like, no, like, this is kind of, like, unfair and whatnot. Or, like, you know, like, whatever. And maybe if his mom didn't die, he wouldn't have been so defeated. But he became defeated because his mom's dead, and he kind of doesn't have too much else to, like, live like, like live for because he knows his daughter's going to america even though he has more money than his wife or and, and his stepdad now and and the, and her stepdad now you know mm -hmm. like because he won but he's still defeated he lets her go to america and like he's gonna go there and he's going on the plane but he sees a familiar face the man that played the game with him with another poor soul and he and he and he goes over he confiscates the card and he calls the number well before he's about to board the plane and they say and the front man who uh ended up like looking sad at our main character or at not our main character looking sad at the dead body of the of ilnam um when we last see him like like massless he says 456 i don't know what you're doing but go on the plane which is weird because like he knew he was gonna go on the plane i guess like it makes sense because mm -hmm. the guy saw him and they keep they keep tabs on it on all their players it seems yeah and he says whatever you're doing you gotta stop and he says and it seems as if he's not gonna board the plane Yep, he's he's gonna try and stop more pain from happening. Yep. How he how he's gonna do that? I don't really know. He's got something billion one to work with, though. He's got what? That he got he's got some fifty something billion one to work with, though. So that's helpful. He does. Million billion whatever. Do you think at the end of all of this? That he's just going to be broke again? 
Or do you think uh, he'll have his money and he'll not. finally be reunited with his daughter? I hope the man gets some peace. <laughs> Me too. I agree. Um, who is your favorite character out of all of these? Gihon. I love him. Gihon. I agree. Yes. He's really good. I'm normally not a main character person, but in this one instance, yeah. I agree. Um, I think Ilnam's also a really good character. And... Yeah, those are probably my two favorite characters. Um... Overall, what would you give it? Let's go... Do you want to go 5 or 10? Uh... Like, out of those. Not, not like... Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, let's go 10. 10? All right. Uh, I'll give it... I'll give it... I'll give it a 9. I thought it was pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, I'd also give it... So, I'm... Yeah, 9. Yeah. Only, like, like, because it's a 9, because I liked a lot of it, but, like, parts of, like, I guess the undercover cover cop stuff, I was, like, not yeah. as big Yeah, like, like I, I would say, like, an 8.5 in my book, because, uh, well, I thought some of the, like, the doctor stuff was, like, okay, interesting plot point, undercover cop, interesting plot point, yeah. but it just kind of felt weird. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it worked, but it was just, like, hmm... I so, agree. and uh, what are you hoping for in season two? Are you hoping because like it seems as if this is probably going to go on until they milk the cow? Yeah. Um. With, with like like how most shows are, what are you expecting? Or what are you hoping? For? Um. Um. I. Ideally. What I wouldn't think would happen in a season two is that during another Squid Game that's occurring, Gihon has found a way to try and disrupt the games. Yeah. Or what's whatever's happening. Because um well, as much as I'd love to follow him immediately in what he's doing, I feel like just following him in what he's doing and then isn't necessarily enough to cover i don't know how to, how to explain it yeah no, no no i get it i think it's just like we've already kind of like followed him so like i mm -hmm. mean i feel like to me the show personally doesn't need a season two but they're kind it seems like we're getting it like like me personally i would have gone to maybe maybe do everything up until like he's going to to his daughter's thing, and, like, I think it would have been good, like, maybe, not, like, his wife and his, and, and the stepdad, like, rekindled, but, like, they were kind of, like, maybe getting there, and, like, we found out, like, he's going, he's gonna be in America himself, and he's gonna, like, you know, be with his daughter now, mm -hmm. and, like, that was gonna be his piece, because I, I feel like maybe that was the original ending, because, like, it, he said it was going to be, like, a movie, like, like, he thought it was going to be a movie and then, like, a TV show, and it turned into a TV yeah. show, but now we have other stuff, like, what happened to the undercover cop? Um, why, why did the guy be the front man? What, what about the other VIPs? Like, um, are we going to meet, like, the family of, of the guy, of, of number one? Um, what happened to, like, the rest of the other people? Um... So, like, there are, like, interesting things, but, like, I personally don't think it needed a season two. Um, I think just leaving it be would have been fine. Um, but also, um, I guess, like, 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 like uh, we do need, like, some sort of twist in the Squid Game. Like, I hope that the whole season isn't the, just the next Squid Game. Like, I hope, like, the yeah. game is, like, a couple of episodes that it takes place because, like, he's disrupting everything. And then, um... 
and then maybe everybody wins the money or something. I don't, I don't particularly know. And he, like, stops it, and then, like, they now spread the awareness of the Squid Game. And maybe that, that's, like, what mm -hmm. it ends up being, or, like, or something. But, like, I just don't think going through episode by episode of, like, of, like, the different games would be as interesting. I could be proven wrong, but that's just me. So. I don't know how you feel about that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it needed a season two, or? I don't think it needs one. Um... But if they manage to pull off a good story and stuff, I think it will be good. But I could also see that if they botch it up, then how much it could take a nosedive in popularity. I could see that, yeah. Because, like, Stranger Things ended up not being as popular after, like, Seasons 2 and 3 and stuff. Um, that about wraps it up for me, unless you got anything else to say about Squid Game. That would be uh, I don't have anything really to say. Alright. Well, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Comment down below what you guys thought about Squid Game and subscribe, as always, and we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.